hello everyone welcome back to another informative video in this video we are going to talk about very important uh, topic as it relates to greenhouse production because face it if you are deciding to go into greenhouse production you definitely want to know if you are going to make any money is this a profitable venture is this a profitable business you are going to spend all this money to buy materials to build structure to set up irrigation pay laborers um, the whole maintenance of the system so you basically want to know if is this profitable so in this video we are going to tackle a few questions that will give you a general understanding of of what it is you are getting into and if it is that the the um the money that you're going to make is is this enough for me or is this enough for me going or starting greenhouse farming so the questions we're going to answer i have them right here is how many plants can hold in a greenhouse and we're going to basically use a 3000 square feet greenhouse um as a reference right so the first question we're going to tackle, how many plants can hold in a 3,000 square feet greenhouse? The second one is, how long after transplanting can you reap, right? Can you start harvesting from the plants? And the third one is, what is the average yield of, of uh, a sweet pepper plant, right? And ultimately what you can get out of a 3000 square feet greenhouse so these are the questions that we are going to answer and let's let's dive into it so as i said uh i am going to be using a 3000 square feet greenhouse as a reference right and and for you to achieve a 3000 square feet greenhouse it can be from you know different kind of measurements so you can have a 30 by 100 right and that can give you a a, a 3000 square feet greenhouse or you can have a, a greenhouse that is shorter in width and, and more longer, right? To give you a tree tone. So, um, whichever way you, you build your greenhouse, our reference point is tree tone square feet. So, how many plants can hold in a, in a tree tone square feet greenhouse? So, um, this is fairly relative, right? Because the amount of plants you can plant in a greenhouse, in a 3,000 square feet greenhouse, is dependent on the planting distance, which is also dependent on the crop that you are planting. So we are using sweet pepper as a reference crop, right? Sweet pepper as a reference crop. So in planting sweet pepper, we normally use a planting distance of 18 inches apart along the, along the, the row right 18 inches so if you plant one plant here 18 18 inches further you plant another plant so 18 inches planting distance now on a general basis we are expecting to have 250 plants per thousand square feet right and as i said some people based on the planting distance they might not follow um, so for example a specific planting distance because of one reason or the other so someone might not use 18 inches they might use less because they want to hold more so but on a general basis you want to have 250 sweet pepper plants per 1000 square feet so in a 3000 square feet how many plants are we expecting to have i have my calculator here so you just say 250 times 3 because it's 3000 square feet that's 750 plants so your 3000 square feet greenhouse should generally have uh 750 sweet pepper plants right so that covers how many plants you can hold in a 3000 square feet greenhouse providing that you are using a planting distance of roughly 18 inches thereabout uh how long after transplanting do you expect to reap you know after you've done the hard work and you know you're watching your plants grow doing a lot of pest management and nutrition management you want to see them producing you want to start harvesting now so how long after do they start to because seed pepper you can basically start to reap now this is also relative because it, it is dependent on the market that you are supplying some persons might have a market that needs uh, uh green 
sweet pepper. As in they are mature, but they, they are not fully mature as in they have changed color. Right? So they are still green. So some markets want that and some markets need them colored. So in the Caribbean, and, and I can speak specifically for Jamaica as well, and um, I think all over the world as well, uh, the green seed pepper, the one that is green, not yet changed to colored, it, um, it, it attracts a lower price than the colored one. The colored pe uh, seed pepper attracts, uh, or bell pepper attracts a higher price than the green one, right? So some people have a market that needs green seed pepper, um, and then some people, um, our farmers, have a market that wants colored. So if you need colored sweet pepper, it's going to take a longer time on the plant for it to change or to get ripe, right? Now, compared to um, harvesting when it, is, when it is green, it is mature, but it is still has that green color. It has not yet changed over. So in terms of how long it takes after transplanting to start reaping the green colored mature pepper, two and a half months, you can after transplanting you can start harvesting um green mature sweet peppers and then three to three and a half months you basically can start um harvesting um colored peppers right um and then of course after that after after you start reap, reaping you basically will continue to reap until um so for example six six seven months in right so um you start reaping at, at harvesting at two and a half months for green, right? And then from there on in like about six, seven, eight months, you can continue reaping. But guess what? This is dependent on your management practices or how, how disciplined are you, right? How, how, how um, proactive are you? Um, how are you managing the different parameters that control good um, sweet pepper production or whatever crop you are growing right you want to ensure that you're on top of pest management um, insect pests and disease you're on top of nutrition um, you, you know don't allow nutritional disorders and those kind of things right so once you manage the crop properly then you expect that you can you can keep it for a very long time Right, because it is it um your management of the crop it is directly related to the yield that you're going to get. Because if you have poor management, then you are you're not going the crop is not going to last as long and you are not going to expect to get the yield that you that, that, that you set out to get. Right? So that covers that question, right? So so far we have covered how many plants can hold in a three thousand square feet greenhouse providing that you are using for example a um a reference point of eighteen inches apart along the row and then we've covered how long after transplanting can you harvest and we've covered both green and ripe in the next question is the average yield right the average yield so you have planted you have transplanted your your seedlings you have reached the, the, the stage for, for to start reaping how many are oh what, what is the yield how many seed peppers can you get off one plant how many seed peppers can you get from the entire 3,000 square feet greenhouse, right? This is important because if you are going to do a, say for example, go to the bank to borrow some money, um, you need to present a business plan. So you need to know exactly, um, who, you know, um, how much this plant will, one plant will produce, um, for how long and, and how long, and how much your entire, um, a uh, plant plot or a greenhouse will, will produce um, over a specific period of time that is important right so let us get into that now in the caribbean um, obviously we're in the tropics uh we we are we are we are faced with a lot of extreme conditions right some parts more than others right now um of course a country that has more ideal conditions or a farmer that can create a more ideal conditions will obviously have a better yield a better better production um a better production uh system right than than someone who is just uh was just put up a greenhouse and not um kind of uh and not having the, the the optimal conditions in their favor so let us get into it now in the Caribbean, in Jamaica especially, 
we always use um, an average heel for one plant of roughly uh, between 8 to 12 pounds thereabout right that is the average heel that we use right 8 to 12 pounds per plant um, and we are talking about sweet pepper now if you are going let us use 8 pounds as as our 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 our, our reference poundage point so if you are going to use eight pounds i have my calculator here so one plant will give you eight pounds over its life cycle and this is the entire life cycle i'm talking about so if one plant is going to give you eight pounds let us see what and remember is 750 plant per 3000 square feet so if you have a 3000 square feet greenhouse 750 plants so if one plant gives you eight pound average heel we are going to see 750 times heat equals 6,000 pounds of sweet pepper we are looking to get from a 3,000 square feet greenhouse for the entire crop life right no no that's 6,000 pounds what is the price you are getting what is the price you are getting right I can tell a base of experience and what were well, um and some market prices that I've seen and I've heard of um first and in Jamaica is um some farmers will get and it depends on the season, right? Some farmers will get uh like um like like those persons who are buying for the hotel, they'll pay they normally pay a higher price than those persons who are buying to go to the market, right? So the persons who are buying to sell to the hotel, they normally so for example they'll give you like 180 dollars right 120 there about depends on the season when it coming down to christmas season there's a festive season there you know tourists gone up tours a lot of tourists um coming in that 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 this that you know that is the time people are more festive a lot of activity going on in the kitchen you know family get together all of these kind of things so that is the time that you know the price start going up so you'll get like 180 dollars so let us say for example let us use 120 dollars for green peppers as our reference point so as you can see we're we are, we are not trying to use too much of a high price so we're not going high on the heel and we're not going too high on the price cost cost per pound so let us use um 120 dollars so we'd say six thousand which is what we get after multiplying 750 by 8 pounds so we get 6,000 pounds 6,000 pounds times 120 dollars that is 720,000 Jamaican dollars and, I, and I'm quoting Jamaican dollars people Jamaican dollars I'm quoting so sorry I've not set that out straight from the beginning so it's Jamaican dollars so that's 720,000 dollars um, you will make from one 3,000 square feet greenhouse um, having 750 plants at an average yield of eight pound remember that eight pound that you are seeing that is just an a average yield you remember based on your management practices you can get more than eight pounds or you can get less than eight pounds don't forget that right don't forget that um so right uh, so you have to think about your management practices keeping the plant as healthy as and productive as possible for as long as possible so um yeah so that covers i think that covers the the, the three questions that we uh, that, that 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 we wanted to talk about and i hope this gives you a, a, a better idea of of you know um plants and how much money you can make and so on so this is just as i said this is just something that you can go off and these figures that i've quoted you know especially the average heel you know people different farmers will have different average heel based on their production system right as i said someone who is managing um their production system and, and monitoring and managing different parameters properly and optimally they'll get a better yield per plant than a farmer who is just uh, who doesn't have any control over pretty different production systems or a different system that is put in place to monitor production optimally right so yield per plant will vary but this is just an average yield and then now the price as i said so if you follow the trend in jamaica you will find that different time of the year you will get different 
cost per pound. So round about October, October to say for example February. During that time, you will get, you will get um good high price per pound, right? And especially if you get a good market, right? If you can get a market that is there, that is that they are you are going you are selling directly to the hotel by yourself and not going to a middleman, you can make a lot of money, right? You can make in excess of over two hundred dollar per pound, right? And so on. So, um, the opportunity is bright, right? And remember. Uh, you can build a three thousand square feet. The bigger it is, right, the more the more you can grow and the more money you'll make. And of course, you can also build more greenhouse. You can have more than one greenhouse. So if you ask me, my professional advice, it is a very productive venture, right? And remember, I spoke about in other videos where, you know, sweet pepper is is a crop that you can grow and you can also grow tomatoes. Uh, and so forth but then you have other high value crops right that many farmers in jamaica are growing already too and in the caribbean as well and all over the world which is strawberry right so um you will have to decide now what with your what your market which what kind of market you have for what products what crops and grow them right but greenhouse spread greenhouse farming is definitely a go if you ask me it's definitely a go right so um, I know there are a lot of information here, but um, I hope the information was beneficial, right? And it can contribute to you making decisions and so on. So remember, um, you can also ask more questions in the comments area. And please um, remember to subscribe to the channel, right? And I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.